What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, we're gonna check out this, the Panasonic Sound Slayer. Now you can use this for like your gaming setup if you wanna hook it up to your you know, gaming system, have it be a console or a PC gaming system. I personally used it as my TV sound bar on my TCL 6 Series 4K QLED TV. And I'm gonna speak about it in that experience that I had used it. It is 300 bucks and you can see the size is actually pretty small. There's no other attachments or subwoofers or anything. This is it. So let's take a closer look at the Sound Slayer. All right, so here it is. You can see exactly what it looks like from the front. It's very minimalistic. There's not a lot to it in terms of, you know, buttons or anything like that. So you have your speaker on the front here. And then you have your LED indicator lights on the front. So it shows you, you know, what, what status you have it on because it does come with a remote. And I'll show you that in a minute, but you can see you got Bluetooth and game modes and other things like that on the front, letting you know what it's set to. This is the bottom of it. And you can see you got a vent and then just screws. On one side of the back, you have where you're gonna plug in the power. You have two HDMIs, which is in and out. You have a USB port to update this. You have a digital uh, audio port, a vent, and that's pretty much it. That's the whole speaker in its own. Here's the remote. The remote to me seems kind of cheap, not really good quality, unfortunately. It's, you know, especially what you pay for this 300 bucks. Uh, it's, it is easy to use and it works well, but other than that, there's not much more to say about it in terms of its look. And then inside the box, you get the speaker, which I showed you. You also get the remote, again, which I showed you. You get a power cord, some documentation, and that's pretty much it. So like I said earlier, I do have the Sound Slayer hooked up to my TV via the ARC HDMI port. That allows me to use the volume controls with basically any remote that I have connected to my TV and it'll control the volume on this. Now I won't be able to switch modes with you know all those remotes, but I can control the volume and that's the biggest thing. Cause once I have this set, I pretty much have it set. So the only thing I'd wanna do is control the volume and that ARC port on the HDMI allows me to do that. So if you have it hooked up to your TV, having it hooked up to that uh, ARC port will allow you to not have to um, do really anything extra in terms of the sound, it'll just work and you can use any HDMI port you want. Setting up the Sound Slayer is super simple. So I literally have two things plugged in. I have the power and the HDMI. Since the HDMI is plugged into the input on the Sound Slayer, I have the other end of the HDMI plugged into the arc of my TV. And just to show you what this looks like and how small it is, it's literally right there. So it takes up about maybe 24 inches of space below my TV. It's very small, the, 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 the footprint of this, again, isn't very large at all. It's not that long, it's not that wide, it's not that tall, it's perfectly fine for where it sits. So I love the size of this, that it does not take a lot of room up. In terms of the features, this does have Dolby Atmos. So if you have a compatible Dolby Atmos device, this will take advantage of that DTSX, DTSX Virtual, high-res audio, 4K HDR pass-through, so you don't lose really any sound or anything like that. You have 2.1 system channels. Now I'm gonna show you how it sounds and I'll kind of walk you through what I think of how it sounds as we go through those. So here's the game controller and I haven't got everything wrong, but just like clicking a look at it, USB-C. So what I do wanna say is that in terms of sound, it does pretty much fill up the room. Now this is a pretty large room that it's in and everyone can hear what's going on, but it's not so loud that it really hurts your ears. So don't think this is gonna get ear bleedingly loud. It does get pretty loud, but not crazy, crazy loud. Here's a video of me talking. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is about the Note 21, kinda. So there's rumors that the Note 21 won't be coming out. It was going back and forth that it would, and then, and then it wouldn't, and it looks like it still won't, kinda. So in terms of vocals, I thought they sounded very clear. I can definitely hear what's going on. In terms of like bass and thing like that, I think it lacks a little bit, and I'm gonna show you that, at least with music, it does for me. You know, just playing this music, I, 
does it have bass? Yes. I have the bass turned up all the way on the speaker, but the bass isn't like it needs a subwoofer to me, you know, it's a speaker for my TV. I would want the subwoofer along with this. It doesn't have that. So I think it lacks a little bit of bass, at least the bass that I want. Now, at the same time, when you're listening or have this right in front of you, if you're using it as a computer speaker or, you know, a gaming speaker right directly in front of you and you're, you know, a couple of feet away or, or even, you know, inches away, I think it'll be perfectly fine. But as a TV speaker with music, it lacks a little. Next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna play a little movie trailer so you can get an idea of how well it sounds as a speaker when you're watching maybe a big time movie. This guy's and then using the remote is very simple. Turn it on and off, press the power button. You can see it turns off and then automatically switch the TV to regular TV mode. And it actually, one thing it does is it turns the TV off and then it turns it back on when you use this. So keep in mode if you, mind, if you do use this as a speaker for your TV, TV is gonna turn on and off. And then using the remote to change between the different modes is as easy as just pressing it once, you know, for, for standard or for gaming or for cinema. You know, just change it. But the thing about there, you have to know about this remote is it is directional. So you have to point it right at the speaker. All right, so without a doubt, is the Sound Slayer speaker worth it as a TV soundbar? I would say short answer, probably not. 300 bucks or close to 300 bucks, you can literally buy a soundbar that sounds equal or better and comes with a subwoofer rather than the Sound Slayer. Now, if you're using it for, you know, gaming on your PC or gaming in a smaller type room or environment, is it worth it? I would probably say yes. And that's really how they market it in terms of using it in that way. It has Dolby Atmos. Um, so you're gonna get good sound, especially in a really small closed environment. It does get fairly loud, even in a larger room like I had in that living room. The sound is overall is good as a, as a TV speaker. It definitely, is a lot louder than my, my, my plain TV is. So it has like pluses and minuses, I think, but the way they market it is probably the smarter way. But the way I use it personally, the way it fits into my lifestyle as a TV soundbar, I would give it a pass on that. But in terms of if you're a gamer or a person in a smaller environment that wants something simplified, small, and sounds decent, it's a great buy. If you wanna pick it up, it's linked down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys down the road. Peace.